Hello everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor official YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. When Daisy Kent informed Kelsey Anderson during the Bachelor final that she had a gut feeling Joey Grazia Day would not be your suitor, she created history. She sensed a disconnect between her and Joey, instinctively knowing he would opt for Kelsey. Before the last rose ceremony, she went to Kelsey's room in a bachelor nation first. She is now disclosing that their talk covered more ground than what was seen on TV. What topics did they discuss? Daisy Kent shares further details about her talk with Kelsey Anderson. When Daisy Kent and Kelsey Anderson conversed before to the last rose ceremony, history was made. They became close friends and even had the same ride to the ceremony. Naturally, Daisy took the lead and ended her relationship with Joey Grazia Day before he could do the same to her. With the television premiere of the final, additional information about that day is becoming available. Daisy disclosed that the exchange between herself and Kelsey comprised more information than what was aired. What topics did they discuss? Daisy informed listeners of this information on the Bachelor Happy Hour podcast. She claimed, we were just talking about how we wanted the best for each other, how I was feeling, how she was feeling, and me saying, he's not my person. I am certain that he is your type. She knew it was her and she knew it wasn't me. She went on to explain. I've been worrying about you all week because I felt like it was going to be me, she remarked. Daisy intended to be a nice friend when she went to Kelsey. She wanted Joey and Kelsey to know that everything would be all right. What Kelsey thought of their talk. Recently, Kelsey Anderson also opened up about how Daisy Kent approached her and confided in her that she knew it wasn't her. Ultimately, she debated at first whether Daisy had ruined the proposal or if it was a good thing. She eventually realized, though, that it's just what occurred in the end, so she's okay. She added that Daisy is amazing and that she knew Daisy went to her with good intentions. How do you feel about the show choosing not to broadcast their full exchange? If you were Kelsey, Sydney would Gordon, you have been the curious. antagonist of The Bachelor season 28, is retaliating against the show's editing, claiming she received a poor edit before to the women tell-all special. Throughout The Bachelor season 28, Sydney, a 28-year-old Rhode Island resident who owns a vintage business, has been shown to be an initiator. Despite Sydney being eliminated by Joey Grazia Day, in the fourth week of the reality TV dating competition, she has faced criticism for the way she handled fan favorite Maria Jorgas, a darling of Bachelor Nation, throughout the season. The way Maria answered Medina Alam about her fears caused the two to argue. Sydney has been replying to comments on her Instagram page ahead of The Bachelor. Women tell all reunion special, even though the episode hasn't aired yet. The comments seem to blame Sydney's terrible behavior on the show's editing. In response to a comment, Sydney said she hoped Joey and her had been shown more, and that her personal problems had been less. Sydney's time on The Bachelor was brief, yet the most of her time there was spent discussing her interactions with the other ladies rather than Joey. Sydney made her debut in the beginning of The Bachelor season 28 looking like a quirky, kind person who was eager to get to know Joey after witnessing his experience on The Bachelor at season 20. When Sydney first moved into The Bachelor house, Joey and she appeared to get along well. She was thrilled to go on a trip with Joey and the ensemble and felt secure during the first and second rose ceremonies. Sydney started to pick on Maria during her time on The Bachelor after they got into a fight because Sydney thought the Canadian was making fun of Medina for her age-related fears. It seemed like Sydney was more interested in trash-talking her fellow Bachelor season 28 castmates than getting to know Joey, as she brought some untrue information about Maria to Joey. 
they were positive she would receive the rose when he asked her out on a two-on-one date with Maria. Regretfully, Julie rejected Sydney throughout the date since she felt stronger about Maria. The Bachelor season, 28 Star, has been the talk of the town for the most of the season, even if Sydney and Joey's relationship wasn't thoroughly examined on the show. Bachelor Nation isn't fond of the way she seems to have treated the other ladies in the show. There are always two sides to any story, even though fans probably think they know everything there is to know about Sydney's time on the show. Viewers may be surprised to learn that Sydney has more to say during the women. Tell all special Bachelor regarding Nation her time suckers on the saw Mary Pepin and Kenny Brosh find love and get engaged on season seven of Bachelor in Paradise. The two tied the knot last time in Mary's birthplace in Puerto Rico, and they've been enjoying wedded life living in Chicago ever ago. Now the couple eventually got to celebrate their love with further of their family and musketeers with a big alternate marriage party in Chicago. Mary and Kenny had been teasing alternate festivity since their marriage in Puerto Rico was small and intimate. So the two threw a antiques of Ventes and 80s, themed marriage party at 115 Bourbon Street. They opened up to people about the festivity, with Mary telling the outlet, this bone is principally a huge theme party. Indeed, though, I'll be wearing another marriage dress. We won't be having another walk down the aisle or form this time. We decided to do a antique 70s and 80s theme to keep it more casual and delightful rather than a formal thing. She said they picked the foggy theme for Kenny's love for all effects 80s and Mary's love for bright colors and disco balls. And while they didn't have a form, Mary and Kenny still had some traditional rudiments like a first cotillion, cutlet slice, and bouquet toss. For the special evening, Kenny wore a Miami Vice style suit in light pink, which was actually the same suit he used for the 80s Paradise prom on Bachelor in Paradise. Mary wore two different gorgeous gowns. The first was a Norma by Justin Alexander dress which had envisioned back, satiny figure, and lawn sleeves. The alternate dress was made by her friend Stephanie Naylor, which she told people had 80s marriage gown vibes, but with an ultra-modern twist. The marriage festivity was filled with Mary and Kenny's fellow Bachelor Nation, stars like Blake Moynes, Zach Clark, Noah Irv, Abigail Herringer, Serena Pitt, Joe Amabel, Ivan Hall, Brendan Morias, Peeper James, Clay Harbor, Amber James, Natasha Parker, Andrew Spencer, and more. We love seeing all of these faces come together to celebrate one of our favorite couples. Congrats again to Mary and Kenny. Can't stay for all that the future holds for you, too. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.